Republicans are set to control the House in the new year, and taxes uh, and the economy are at the top of their agenda. But outgoing ways and means uh, lead Republican Kevin Brady says while Americans are going uh, into debt faster than ever, he's concerned that Democrats won't compromise on needed provisions to help boost the economy. Congressman uh, Brady uh, joins us this morning. Uh, Congressman, I guess I want to talk to you about next year, but but lame ducks front and center. Yes, next year, you're, you're not going to be around. You'll be around for the lame duck. What, what are we looking at? Yeah, so obviously there is a, a decision on how to fund the government, how high and, and how long there. I think really, you know, we've been overspending by almost $3 trillion, the budget, this, uh, this session. So I wouldn't lock in that overspending for another year. Uh, secondly, we've got some modest tax trade and health care provisions. They don't cost a lot, but they get a big bang really for the buck, especially on the tax side, provisions that allow businesses to take full uh, deductions on research and development and expensing, writing off the equipment technology, really critical in the supply uh, chain crisis and some, some incentives on investment. They don't cost much. They're really important. So we're hopeful and on trade as well, similar sort of situation. So we're working to try to find some common ground with the Democrats here before we leave. It's going a little slower, uh, frankly, than I would hope, but we still have some time if we can sort of pull this together. I love our. I, I love everything about the the way we form governments and the Constitution, the way everything works. It, it's it's fascinating. But you got the two year, six year dynamic. Uh, the two year dy dynamic has its own <clears throat> set of uh, of issues that that come to the fore. One of them that's coming right now is 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 whether uh, how uh, Kevin McCarthy, Leader McCarthy, is attempting to wrangle uh, the cats, wrangle the votes to to be the speaker. I guess there's something that happens in, in January, and we're watching these, um, I don't know what you call these, these guys that, that aren't on board yet. Uh, they'll probably eventually be on board or be in, in the Republicans' best interest. I mean, I think if they really want to show anyone that, that they can govern, they don't want to have this uh, last forever. But they're going to want things, maybe, in the lame duck. Uh, are, they, are, are they right now demanding things from... Uh, Leader McCarthy, about what happens between now and, and the new Congress? Are, are there things that they're not going to agree know, to that he has to concede to them that are going to mess things up uh, over the next uh, month? You know, not necessarily. I think the, the short answer here is I think all the Republicans are weighing in here on the lame duck. I think uh, Kevin McCarthy got a major victory here this week uh, on ending the COVID uh, vaccine right. mandate in the military, beginning to rehire. Uh, that was, I think, a good example of his leadership and working with the entire conference. We've got an agenda we are eager to get to work on. We're going to have to unite to do this. We have the same majority, essentially, as Speaker Pelosi. She struggled uh, to get the votes uh, to be Speaker two years ago. That's just how things are in Washington. But you know, I, he's the right leader. I'm confident he's going to be able to pull these votes together. We are really eager to, to, to move our agenda, and the sooner we can pull it together, the better. Or, uh, for lack of a better term, is any Freedom Caucus <clears throat> members, are they, do you see any chance that there is some nuclear option that comes with a government shutdown that, that, uh, that Leader McCarthy would, uh, would go along with? Or what would that do? And what, are the, what do Republicans want to accomplish as being the majority in, in the House over the next two years. What do they need? They can't really do anything in yeah. terms of, of governing. What do they need to show? And, and is it just a, a sort of a buildup to the 2024 uh, election where we got the Senate and everything else and president? Yes. So, so, so I would probably disagree with the, there's nothing you can do to govern because you've got three important things. One, you're an immediate check and balance on what we believe is the wrong policies the Biden administration. That's powerful. Secondly, you now share the power of the purse. So the regulatory overreach, the executive overreach is, is now in play in, in a more positive way. There's a balance there. And thirdly, you got a chance to move your agenda, show the American people what you would do, you know, to make their lives better, to ease inflation, to secure the border and their, their neighborhoods from crime. Th those are three important things to do. And I think the second one is one of the most important. The power of the purse is now shared between Republicans and Democrats. So there will be changes, uh, frankly, in how the administration behaves. And of course, the oversight is really about, you know, rooting out the waste and the fraud and the abuse sort of in the government and finding out if the government's working for you or against you as a taxpayer. Uh, those are important powers for Republicans. But, 
you know, our commitment to America is, is very optimistic. It's very positive. I think it's just what we need. We're just eager to get to it.